So my auction career started in uh, pretty much the early 1980s when I was a kid and growing up in high school. My dad told me that um, I was going to become an auctioneer. Got my auction license my senior year of high school. Got my real estate license my senior year of high school. I was ready to go. And um, two weeks after I graduated high school, my dad was diagnosed with throat cancer. My dad had been an auctioneer for 20 years, real estate broker, uh, past president of the Indiana Auctioneer Association. So we were deeply ingrained into the auction business and the auction industry. And the doctor told him, I can't say, I can save your life, but I'm not gonna be able to save your voice. So I had to step in and take over. At 18 years old, I started running the company. We were off the ground and running. I am an auctioneer, real estate broker, and entrepreneur. Taking that, effectively putting it into your system, into the thought process, I'm also going to share a couple of stories with you that got me to where I am today. Perseverance is the hard work you do after you get tired of doing the hard work you already did. Recycling it and bringing it back out to a solution or a challenge of a good complex thought. And isn't that true in the real estate and the auction business? I think you've done everything you need to do, and then something else turns up, something else comes up. So you always got to persevere. You always got to keep working and working and working. I'm bilingual, and I wear both hats. I speak the language of auctioneer, and I speak the language of realtor. I've done pretty much every element of the real estate industry. If I can leave you one little thing to think about over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, from development and building, commercial, to multifamily, but also the option. You got focus. Focus right here. Effective listening allows you to digest a complicated issue and recycle it as a positive result. And remember this at all times to practice listening comprehension just like you do when reading documents, novels, the newspaper, trade publications. We sent three times the amount of text messages than we did in 2007 over five trillion text messages. That's amazing to me. And they're projecting that that's gonna to continue to grow. Social networking sites, man, what a buzzword. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, active reign for the real estate industry. Heat auctions is the urgency in the time. Now seven. I've got six and a half, now seven hundred, one time, thank you, now seven. If you want to be out there, you want people to know what you're doing, we gotta tell them. But look, here's the deal. We gotta share. We gotta share as auctioneers and we gotta share as real estate professionals. Because if we don't, we're not all gonna be able to work together. You have the option of selling real estate at auction, whether you're an auctioneer, or whether you're an auctioneer slash realtor, or whether you're a realtor. When you combine creativity with initiative and with persistence, it's gonna put you in a profitable situation. So always be creative, always go out there and take the initiative and make things happen, and you know, you've got to be persistent. What makes you a professional in the auction and the real estate and the entrepreneur industry is doing the things that nobody else wants to do, or doing the things that you don't want to do, but you have to. Fifty, seventy-five, now one, 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 one.